So, Fallout 4 could be the greatest game ever, but it faces some amazingly insane challenges. One, it came out seemingly incomplete. And by that, I mean there were a lot of things that were done that were iconic in a sense, but they were lacking in so many details. I guess the first thing is the settlement building. Now, the settlement building was awesome and it was great, but there were a lot of things wrong with it. In fact, it wasn't really worthy of constantly going into and building all the time because that's what I did when I first started and I'm sure a lot of you started building right away and noticed that you didn't get attacked at all and the only people who got attacked were the people who didn't build now that sort of defeats the purpose because they put so much emphasis on the fallout settlement building that it was going to be this great thing, you were going to build your settlement, settlers would come in, it would be this fully functioning society that you control, you are in charge of, and you had to defend. But, you never had to defend it, because if you had enough defense um, uh, in relation to your settlers, or I mean, if you had enough defense in relation to the amount of settlers you had, you wouldn't get attacked at all. In fact, very rarely, I had played at least 70 hours of Fallout 4, and not once did I get attacked when my defenses were higher than my settlers. However, when I first started, and I just ignored building completely, I got attacked. Once. And when I got attacked, I realized I needed some defenses. Once I built them, I never got attacked. And that was really sad. So, the Fallout Settlement building is just sort of incomplete from this beginning. Now, I know the update came out, and it added a lot of things, and, and whatnot, but I'm still not getting attacked. So, it's not fun. It's, it's not fun. The whole point of building a settlement is to survive and defend it. So, that was a really, really disappointing thing for me. And, if they had made the game more... more of a survival game, I'm not talking survival mode, but defending your settlement constantly from attacks. I think that really would have made the game fun. I would have spent hours and hours in my settlement. Unfortunately, the hours and hours that I spent in that settlement were building and then just waiting to be attacked. And, well, hopelessly waiting. Um, but on a lighter note, Fallout 4 really makes good use of an amazing combat system. However, Amazing might be an overstatement. See, the shooting was just super easy, and uh, the VAT system was greatly improved. I actually didn't find myself using VATs as much because it's so fun to just run around and shoot people real time. The VAT system was great though, and it didn't make it super easy to attack enemies. In fact, without freezing time, things were great. However, melee was just terrible. Now, of course, yes, you could do your combos, and it was awesome, but the learning curve for those combos, I don't know if it's just me, maybe I suck, or maybe my alt key kept um, initiating grenades, so, I mean, you had to choose between melee or throwing grenades whenever you wanted to, because if you wanted to do melee uh, successfully with the power attacks, uh, at least on PC, you had to use the alt key, which, uh, I've unfortunately, also initiated grenades and you couldn't change this unless you uh, modded or whatever so in order to efficiently use melee and the power attacks with the alt key you had to s turn off your grenades which ended up in me never using my grenades because I like to get up and close and personal with my ripper so that was disappointing but overall that combat system is great it's it's almost like Call of Duty but I mean with um, with more sort of events where you have to think critically because you have AP and you can't just run around and shoot everybody because once that runs out, you can't run away. And, and yeah, really, that's the only limitation. But it, it was really great, and I don't think any other Fallout game could really come close to how good the FPS in Fallout 4 is. Um, now, another point is the AI. 
<laughs> I found myself laughing constantly from time to time because the AI can just get so damn funny and so unpredictable. I mean, sometimes when they have conversations with each other in your settlement, like your settlers, um, it, it's really nice. Uh, although the only real conversations happen between the uh, first settlers you get from the first mission where you get your power armor. Um, you know, when you help the Minutemen for the first time, it's often Moira and, and Sturges and all that, and, you know, you're telling her to stop doing drugs, and there was that little interesting thing where you to choose to either make her do a lot of drugs or get her to stop doing drugs. Um, so that was cool. It gets immersive when you start seeing all these people in the game start talking to each other. It feels like it's a living, breathing world. And I don't really have much to say about that in a bad sense. Um, only good things, really. Um, the Super Mutants especially <laughs> made me giggle a lot because they were just... They said the randomest things. <laughs> like, I don't know, this whole thing about milk and finding it and like... God, I don't know if they're perverts or just babies. Um, but that was great. And alongside those lines, there's a lot of immersion-breaking things. Because in Fallout 4, it's a lot more light-hearted and happier, but it's the freaking wasteland. How can anybody be happy? Uh, and I know that in Fallout 3, there were... Uh, people in the game that were just so fucking scared and mind my language but they were absolutely terrified of raiders and all these things they were seemingly helpless and and in Fallout 4 they have they have balls all of a sudden like they're ready to take people on I don't know they're just simple people in this crazy world full of mutated creatures all over the place and super mutants like what gave them the balls they really don't have that much even in Diamond City, the guards just have baseball bats. Like, what is that going to do to a super mutant? Um, so the, those things really kind of break the game, because it's it's supposed to be the wasteland. It's supposed to be scary, and, and there were times when it was kind of creepy. Compared to Fallout 3, uh, it just didn't really compare. Because Fallout 3 had some really creepy locations, like the Dunwich Building or Vault 87, where they were conducting experiments to turn people into super mutants and, and other gross, nasty things. That that freaked the shit out of me. I was kind of shitting my pants a little bit. Um, mind you, I was only like 12 years old when I played this. But um, even looking back on that, Fallout 4 just doesn't really compare to a lot of the aspects in Fallout 3. It's simply more playable. And for that, I think they realize they need a lot of work. And that's why the updates are just coming in and coming in. So, really, Fallout 4 is a great, fun game. Um, there's just a lot of things missing to it that don't really give us that same sort of sparkly wasteland fantasy feeling that we got from Fallout 3 or Fallout 2 or 1. And the dialogue system sucks. Anyways, I hope you liked hearing my opinions about Fallout 4. And if you'd like to hear other videos, just put a comment down below. Um, other than that, I'll be coming up with more games to give my opinions on, and we'll be discussing them. So anyways, my name is Sir Weed Boy, and thanks for listening.